Hello, my friends. I'm going to share with you the continuation of the building of the Compass Star Kayak. This is the cutting out of the cockpit and gluing up the recess for the combing. Before the cockpit is cut out, the deck is fared and sanded smooth. First thing that you do is take a hand plane and take down the obvious high points and then go through the sanding routine. I'm using my belt sander with the 36 grit paper on it. This is an extremely aggressive uh, machine, especially with a coarse grit. When you're using this sander, you must always keep it moving. Stopping at one point will grind a groove in your work and it'll be very difficult to remove. Next is the random orbit palm sander with 80 grit. This will smooth out all the marks left by the belt sander. The same applies with this palm sander. Always keep it moving so that you don't sand a groove into your workpiece. After sanding with this 80 grit paper, I'll wet the hull down to make the grain lift or rise. Let that dry, then sand it with 120 grit. After this sanding, I'll inspect the deck for cracks or gaps in any of the wood and I'll apply a filler and then do a sanding again with the 120 grit. You don't need to sand any finer than 120. The glassing will go right over top of this. It'll make a very good bond to it. In between sanding, you want to wet the wood and that, what that will do is it will raise the grain also removes all the dust, but you don't have to worry about that until you're going to put a finish on. Also lets you see where you might have glue marks that has to be worked on to get removed. Raising the grain helps with, with the sand, and here I ran the uh, felt sander, and then I ran my random orbit sander with 36 grit and uh, next will be a 120 grit after this dries. And I'll go and inspect it real close looking, like I said before, looking for where there's glue. And I tried to be very thorough when I was sanding. So if I'm lucky, I'll have minimum spots to make up. Also, it gives you a sneak preview of what the wood's going to look like, what the color is going to come out. Then after I sand, I'll cut the oval for working the cockpit. Here on the cockpit you can see I'm putting a piece of white wood which is birch and this is an accent piece. Uh, it'll be a transition. It helps smooth the line and the cut. Uh, it'll be a transition between the uh, pieces that
connect to the cockpit or the combing and the rest of the hull. And here you can see um, I'm using tape to hold it in and where you have a place where the tape wants to slip I'm using a spring clamp to clamp the tape so it won't slip and that holds it tight up against the wood and one area where um, I was not able to pull in with tape I'm using a quick grip and it pushes outward so it's holding it up against the hull portion of the deck gluing these small pieces what I do is I use super glue CA glue I hit it with this insta set and it sets right away then there's small gaps and what I do then is take this sanding dust pushing it into the gap and give it a drop of super glue I get glasses on you don't want to take a chance of that splashing in your eyes here you can see I'm gluing these slats up and I'm using the insta set and the CA glue super glue and what I have here I'm holding a stick across the span to keep these on the same plane and every so often I'll glue a continuous one across sometimes it's hard because you have to calculate the exact length and I had to sacrifice or cut one out to make a touch at the ends. This center section will be cut away so that's not needed but we do need to keep this all glued up on the same plane. Now as I'm gluing I'm using that uh, super glue and with the insta set and I'm trying to be extremely careful I got safety glasses on and even so I, I uh, must have glued my fingers together three or four times already you can see here as I'm gluing up I'm running a spreader across every so often and that's helping to keep these in a parallel or in a plane between all of the joints and right here as I'm joining these I'm cutting the individual blocks to the correct angle and then this has a slight taper and I take the hand plane you can see here that I plane that so it will match that angle and then I'll take this I've been using tape also masking tape take this and clip them together and I feel to make sure that I'm just a hair above this ridge then we take our 
CA glue, which is super glue. Wet the joint. Use the Insta set. Give it a shot. Wait a second or two, and then that will be cured. Now, the incident that I kept having with getting my fingers stuck is when I use masking tape and the super glue, the uh, glue gets underneath the tape and the Insta set doesn't touch it. So it's still staying wet. And when I'm pulling the tape off, I get that glue on my skin. And this is made to stick skin and uh, it sticks very well. So since I haven't been using the tape, I haven't been getting my fingers stuck together. Here's how I'm patching small holes. You can see right here, it's in the cherry, uh, right beside the birch. Taking my super glue, hitting around the hole. Then I'm taking my cherry sanding dust and applying it on there. And my Insta set. Leave that set a moment. Pretty close. Get rid of the fine holes. Can't even locate it now. Insta set. If you have a mishap with uh, using your super glue or the CA glue, um, the uh, remover or solvent for the glue is acetone, and that's recommended by the manufacturer of super glue to use that. And what you do is you take the cotton swab, soak it, and uh, rub around where the uh, skin is joined or glued until it finally releases. Um, the acetone you can get in fingernail polish remover, but you have to make sure you read on there because a lot of uh, remover now is, does not have acetone in it. Uh, different type of fingernail polish, I suppose. But the acetone is the one that is the solvent. Now this one here, it's uh, about $2.50 and it's 94% acetone. Um, the acetone, it kind of removes oils and fats, so when you use this on, on your skin, uh, your skin is going to be dry. It's recommended that uh, what you do is wash it afterwards with soap and water and then put a hand cream on to restore the oils uh, and the moisture back into the skin. So uh, this is what you're going to end up using. Also, when you're working with this, make sure you're wearing glasses. A friend of mine got it in his eyes, and uh, uh, he washed it out and, uh, with water, uh, went to the emergency, and there was like little crystallized chunks of the super glue in his eye. They removed it all, no damage, but uh, it could be serious. So wear glasses, wear safety glasses. Uh, be careful what you're, uh, how you're using it. What I found, I, I, I'm using it hundreds of times for the glue joints because I'm gluing little pieces one at a time and setting the, the glue joint. Um, sometimes what I'm doing is using masking tape to hold the pieces in position, using the CA glue, hitting it with the Insta set, 
then peeling that tape off uh, after about a couple seconds. It can come off and use it. But what has been happening is some of the glue is going underneath the tape, not getting hit with the mist of the Instaset, and that uh, glue, then the uh, CA glue, is going from the tape onto my hands, and that's how I, I've been sticking my fingers together. So I'm just going to keep this around and be more careful with the tape. I know where the glue is coming from, so I can avoid it. I haven't glued any fingers together today, and I worked all day on the kayak gluing up. And yesterday I did the same thing, but I glued my fingers together four times. So I'm learning. And uh, just a caution, so be careful. Thanks for watching, my friends. Bye bye.